The Intelligent Community Integration Module for Sitecore supports integrated security. In this video, I want to demonstrate some of the integrated security features and explain a little bit about how they work. I'm going to start with single sign-on. Single sign-on works in two ways. There are users who log in through your website, through your Sitecore website. And then there are users who log in to Sitecore through the Sitecore client. Both of these kinds of users are able to take advantage of the single sign-on functionality, which means that when a user logs in, the user is going to be logged in to the Intelligent Community as well. So I want to demonstrate that quickly. The site I'm going to use for my demonstration is the NICAM site. So from the NICAM site, I'm currently not logged in. If I go over to my Intelligent Community, I can see that I am not logged in. Now back on NICAM, if I log in, I'm going to log in using the JJ account. So I've logged into the NICAM website. Single sign-on has also worked. So if I refresh my Intelligent Community window, I can see that I'm now logged in as the JJ user, whose name is John Johnson. Back on the NICAM site, if I log out of the NICAM site, that's closing my session. I'm also going to be logged out of the Intelligent Community. So if I refresh the Intelligent Community, I can see that I'm no longer logged in here as well. I also have the Sitecore client that this works in. So if I log into the Sitecore client, I'm going to log in with my mini account. So I'm logged in. Now if I go over to the Intelligent Community, I can see that I am logged in as MINI. In addition, if I log out of the Sitecore client, go back to Intelligent and refresh, I can see that I'm logged out as well. So why is this important functionality? Well, it means that links to Intelligent community content work seamlessly. For example, if I go back to my NICAM site, I can log in as a JJ user. And I can see links to blog posts if I go over to the community section of the website. So I see the community. If I click on the blog post, not only do I see the blog post, but I'm logged into the Intelligent community so I can add comments, that sort of thing. In addition, certain content may be available to JJ that is not available to other users. So content repurposing functionality that's a part of the integration takes this into consideration as well. So back in NICAM, if I look at the community section, I see that there are five links. These are links to five different blog posts. If I log out of NICAM, now I can see there are only three blog posts. These are the only blog posts that are available to the anonymous user. So single sign-on is important when it comes to content repurposing. So how does this work? Well, let me explain how my intelligent community is set up. My community supports three kinds of users, anonymous users, registered users, and employees. The main distinction for this demo is between employees and non-employees. Employees have access to content that non-employees don't. There's an internal blog, wiki, media gallery, and forum that non-employees can't access. So if I go over to Intelligent Community, and I go into the NICAM group, and go under Blogs, I see that there are three blog posts that are available to me. There's really only one blog that's available to me. And since there's only one blog, I don't even have a list of blogs to choose from. I only have the NICAM News blog available to me. And the same thing is true of forum, files, and also with the wiki. But now, if I log into my NICAM site as JJ, and JJ has access to those five blog posts, that would sort of imply that there's more in the blog. So I'm logged in as John Johnson. If I go to my blogs section, I can see that I actually have two separate blogs that are available to me, the internal blog and the NICAM news blog. On this blog homepage, I see all of the posts but if I go just into the NICAM internal blog, I'm going to see that those are limited. So this is some of the content that's not available to the anonymous user. The way that this works inside of Intelligent, 
is that I have an employee's role defined. So I'm going to log out of NICAM site, come back to the intelligent community, and I'm going to log in as an administrator to the intelligent community. So inside the intelligent community, I have this employee's role set. And I use intelligent community security settings to prevent non-employees from accessing certain applications. So I can see this in here. If I go into the dashboard and I go down to blog administration, and I can see all of the blogs that are available. I have the NICAM internal blog and the NICAM news blog. If I go to the NICAM internal blog, edit, and then go into permissions, I can see that the employee's role has full access to the blog, but the everyone role has no access, and registered users' role has no access as well. So the, what the integration module allows me to do is to map a site core role to a intelligent community role. So the intelligent community role is employees. This is mapped in a Sitecore configuration file. So if I go to where my Sitecore is installed, go into app config, and then include, I can go into community server integration config, and I have this section in here called roles correspondence. And in here I do my mapping. So I can see that there's a community server role named employees, and that's going to map over to the Sitecore author role. So back over in Sitecore, I'm going to log in as administrator. And if I go into my user manager and look at my JJ user, I can see that JJ is a member of Sitecore Author. That is how the JJ user becomes an employee over on the intelligence side. Now, if I remove Author as a role from JJ, okay, I'm going to log out of Intelligent as the administrator. And now over on NICAM, I'm going to log back in as JJ. And I can see now I only have three items available. If I go back over to Intelligent and refresh this window, I am John Johnson, but I don't have access to those blog posts anymore. And so I'm going to log out as JJ. So I'm back to being the anonymous user. I'm over in the site core. I come back in and edit JJ again and put him back into the Sitecore author role. Okay, so back over on NICAM, anonymous user only has access to those three. If I log in as JJ, once again I have access to all of those items. Back over on the intelligent community. Go back to blogs. I have access to both of those blogs again. So that is going to conclude my short demonstration of the integrated security features provided by the Intelligent Community Integration Module. For more information about the integration, you can visit Sitecore's shared source library.